Hello student, welcome to online tutorial session. Today we will uh, start our practical sessions on the topic paragraph formatting in MS Word. So, uh, as you can see, we are not able to do the practical on the school using the computer. So, that's why I am came up with a wonderful solution over here. The practical sessions you can perform in your mobile uh, phone only. So, we have some mobile application that is known as a uh, pretty known, a common known as an application app. So, if you are installing that particular app while sitting at your home, you can practice all the practical sessions. So, how to do that? Okay, so as the, my topic for today is the MS Word, so you can download the Microsoft MS Word mobile applications in your phone. So, how to do it? Okay. Uh, from your mobile uh, application menu, find out the option called Play Store. You are able to see Play Store. So, click on the Play Store and write W-O-R-D. As soon as you have write Word, then Microsoft Word application will be open. But instead of update option, the option will be shown as install. So, you click on the install options and then hold the uh, uh, application. You will click download and install it. Okay, as here it is update is showing just because I have already installed this application in my mobile phone. So, that's why it is once for an update. Okay, don't get confused. Okay, so as soon as you have downloaded this particular um, application, how it look like? <clears throat> you are able to see the uh, applic uh, application icon in your phone that is a big W in a blue uh, written word it will be seen. So you click on it. As soon as you click on it your windows uh, your application will be open in this way. Okay so uh, why it is showing you recent file? There are so many files you are able to see, but while you are opening, so many files will be not seen. Why? Because uh, you have not used this particular application. In the recent part, whatever uh, what uh, document you have already prepared or you have already worked on it, that list will be shown here. But if you are downloading it very first time, then it will not, you are not able to see this one. So for this reason, to open the particular new a blank document how to do it first of all i'm telling you if you're working on a computer then what you do from the start menu uh, go to the microsoft office under the microsoft office package you were able to see microsoft word 2007 and you click on it and under this the office button option is there from the office button you click on the file part <clears throat> as soon as you have click on the file option then then is a drop down list will be open that is from here you can choose a new option if you are working on a mobile application then you click on the plus symbol okay as soon as you click on the new option over there there is a blank document option will be there and another uh, templates are there this why it is templates it's automatically designs are there uh, you can select and you can do your modification as per your requirement so we will choose the uh, blank document over here so as soon as we have uh, clicked on the blank document and whatever uh, paragraph you want to type you can type i have already uh, mm, uh, copied a paragraph that's i am pasting over it but right, so <clears throat> this one is a, actually the paragraph okay so paragraph is here that i am showing okay so here we will do our modification okay so first thing is the topic is the <clears throat> paragraph of uh, how to uh, get a paragraph symbol on your paragraph okay so what you have to do you can work on a few part of the paragraph or you can select a whole paragraph okay so um, i am selecting a, a small portion of a paragraph okay in your computer you can select you know how to select a portion of a paragraph okay using the you uh, the cursor that is blinking put a cursor and then through a mouse you drag a particular section what you want to do <clears throat> after selection uh, you can select the whole text or you select the full a uh, uh, few parts okay or you can select as a whole so i am selecting as a whole part as soon as you have selected then your mobile application you are able to see bold italics underlined option and beside that is one on the right hand side of the corner one is a triangle solid triangle the symbol is coming you click on it and then you are able to see home tab but this tab is already present in your system 
So under the home tab, you have to go to the paragraph formatting session where you have to go in the paragraph formatting session and there you are have to uh, find out the pill crow symbol that is for using for the paragraph you select on it as soon as you have select on it you go back okay and press the <coughs> right click if you, as soon as you have paid the right click you are able to see that pillow craft symbol that is a pill crow symbol this this kind of a symbol is coming after a paragraph so in this way in your paragraph text you can get a, a <coughs> pill crow symbol in your paragraph okay now we will move to the next session that is the next part of your practical that today we will learn how to uh, how to align a particular text so whatever text we are writing over here how to uh, represent the particular text what should be the alignment there are four type of alignment is available um, in the word what are those four type of alignment that is uh, uh, left alignment right alignment center alignment and justified Okay, we will start with the central alignment and then we will move to another one. Why I am uh, not doing the left and right first? Because uh, by default, the whatever text you are writing in your par paragraph in your Word document or whatever if you are uh, <clears throat> copying from another file and pasting in your Word document, everything will be in the left alignment mode. So that's why you are not able to find out the difference. So for that reason, uh, let's uh, uh, start with the center alignment. So, let's like I am selecting few parts of a uh, <clears throat> alignment. Then I am clicking on the pencil symbol for the editing. Then again click on the <clears throat> home tab. Under the home tab, those who are working on a system, under home tab, one uh, group is there that is known as an alignment group. In the alignment group, you are able to see the other uh, central alignment is there. You have to click on it. So, this is the symbol for the center alignment. <clears throat> you just look at the difference over here. Okay. See, whatever text is there that is in left alignment and just to we have just applied the central alignment. So, it will look like this. So, like again this part <clears throat> we are changing. Okay. Whatever part is, is left we are changing and doing modification and let's go for the another that is a right alignment. <clears throat> we have aligned the text in the right part. <clears throat> Just see the difference between uh, front, uh, front, first part, first half and the second half. Second half is still in the left alignment mode. Okay. Now, on the top part, again we are applying the left alignment mode. Okay. So, left alignment mode, if you are applied, see it is come in a whatever the... Uh, type is looking at initially it is there so in the initial part it is look like this okay so this is done <clears throat> now there is a, another uh, alignment is there that is known as the justified alignment okay so what is a justified alignment the end is justified alignment the justified text is aligned at the both left and the right hand margin okay it is aligned from the both left and right hand margin so, <clears throat> we are working on this only this part. So, uh, you are able to see the difference. Okay. So, let's uh, do for the selection and let's go for the justified alignment. This is uh, actually a justified alignment. Okay. So, whatever content is there, it is alignment from the left and right both. Okay, so this is the whole margin. See over here, it is just slightly come out. This an initial is, it is not in actually on a margin format. It is come out from few lines and coming out from the margin. But see over, over here the text. Okay, all the lines from the right hand side is also in margin. And uh, also from the left hand side is also from the margin. But see in that case, the margin is not proper in the right hand side. So that is the difference between left alignment and the right alignment. Okay, so this uh, practical session you can perform on your laptop, on your um, uh, system also. If you don't have it, then don't need to worry about it. In your uh, mobile phone, you can install it and you can practice this. Okay, I hope you are able to understand. If you have any query, then uh, please comment. Thank you, student. I'm ending my lecture over here.